Hi, and welcome to this 4NAV Coffee Break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at 4NAV, and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today, we're going to add request page values to our Business Central reports using nothing but the 4NAV designer. It has always been possible to add request page variables to our 4NAV reports, but the only way of doing so was by using Visual Studio Code. Recently, we have extended this behavior to the 4NAV designer. What's even better, you can even get data from Business Central based on your request page variables. You can only add request page variables to new or cloned reports. It is not possible to add request page variables to standard 4NAV reports using the 4NAV designer. You can only do that with a report extension made in Visual Studio Code. We have discussed that in an earlier coffee break. To demonstrate how to add request page values to our Business Central reports, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add a request page variable. In step three, I will use the variable in my layout. In the fourth and final step, I will use my variable to get data from the Business Central database. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will add request page variables in the Business Central on-premise server with the Business Central 2023 Wave 1 release. I've installed the universal code version of the 4NAV customizable report pack, and I've executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available in the Business Central SaaS environment. I also have the 4NAV designer installed on my PC. The 4NAV designer can be downloaded from the 4NAV website. You can add request page value, you can add request page values with the 4NAV Designer 7.1 and higher. The first thing we need to do is to add the variables to our request page. We can choose any type of variable. We can even specify a, a, a relation to a table in a database so we get a value lookup. So let's go to 4NAV. And to do this coffee break, I have prepared a report to clone which I've called request page variables, request page base. And I'm going to create a copy. So what I've got is a new report in what is essentially a brand new extension. What I'm going to do in the report properties, so those are the properties of the, of the base report, the uh, extra report node in the report explorer. I find a request page variables property. And if you can't find the request page variables property, that usually means you are working on a custom report layout instead of a brand new report object in an extension. I'm going to hit add. And the first value I'm going to add is show address. And the first thing I've added was the caption, which is the, the friendly name. And the second thing I've added was the uh, was the actual programming name, which uh, uh, for which I usually don't use any spaces. Um, I can add option members, so I can create my own dropdown. But for this show address, I want a Boolean or yes, no value. So I want to either show my address or not. So that's the first request page variables I'm variable I'm going to add. I'm going to add a second one, which is the responsibility center. The name of that request page variable is going to be responsibility center code. That's going to be a text variable because I want the responsibility center code. In, uh, in Business Central, you have a code variable. In JavaScript, you only have the text variable. So if you want the code, you need to use the text. And this is going to be for table responsibility center, which is this one. And that's uh, the, the navigation the relation table name and table number that's going to specify that I want to do a lookup out of the responsibility center table. Finally, in the report properties, I'm going to find my save request page values property. I'm going to set that to true, and that's going to remember the values I specify in my request page. 
So that's me done with the request page. I'm going to save my report as an object on server, which is going to package my report as a new extension and save it and hit preview. And of course I need to sign in. And now in my report, I've got my request page base. I've got my show address, which is true or false. And I've got my responsibility center, which can be Birmingham or London or empty. If you now hit print, because you've saved the request page values, uh, it's going to uh, save whatever values you've got in your request page. So hit print. And there's the base version of my report. Of course, I'm not using the request page values in my layout yet. That's going to be the next step. So after you've created the request page variables, you can use them in your report layout. So let's say we want to show or hide the address based on the show address variable. You may have guessed we were going that way based on the, on the request page variables name. So let's say I want to hide this column when my request page variable show address is false. So of course I'm going to find my show output. And drill down into the JavaScript editor. And all I need to do is find my Dynamics NEV dataset show address and hit OK. And that's going to be set the show output for the column header. And of course, I need to set the show output for the column itself. And that's going to be the same one show address. Hit OK. Let's save and preview. Now I've got my show address set to true, hit preview, and my addresses are shown. And I will set my show address to false and hit preview. And now of course something is not working. I was doing so well in my preparations this morning, but somehow, Murphy has decided to bother us again today. So let's give Murphy a cup of coffee, stay calm and try again. Save as object on server. Let's try this again. Show address is false, preview. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. Now the addresses are hidden. And of course, because I'm using the Kangrow property in the 4NAV report, the, the space for the address isn't reserved anymore either. So there we go. And let's go to the fourth and final step because we want to use the responsibility center to change the custom the company address on the report. At the moment it says uh, Kronos uh, and I want it to be uh, the Birmingham if I choose the Birmingham responsibility center. Um, to do so, we must get the responsibility center in our report. So I'm going to go to the records property in my report base. I'm going to add the record. I'm sure you can guess which one that's going to be. That's going to be the responsibility center. Then I need to specify a link reference. So I need to tell Fornav how to get the responsibility center. That's going to be with a new option in 4NAV 7.1, which is the request page variables. And the link is going to be the responsibility center code is going to be linked to the responsibility center code on the request page variable, which is why I've called it responsibility center code. Hit OK and hit OK. So that gives us the responsibility center record in our fields. In my data set now I've got my responsibility center, which means I can use it in my report. And because it's not really fun to see anybody coding live, I'm just going to add my responsibility center stuff really quickly because I've copied and pasted this before. So if the Dynamics NEV dataset responsibility center code is not empty. I'm going to use curreport.format address reports for enough uh, responsibility field groups uh, dot address, which I'm going to space with a comma and a space. 
And the format address is, for those of you who don't know it, a way of reformatting the, uh, uh, the field groups that Fornaf creates. Um, if the responsibility center is not specified, of course, I'm going to use the company information dot address. Make this one yellow. And of course, we've got the company name here as well. So in there, we want to pull the same trick. If my responsibility center is not specified, I'm going to use the curry report company name. And if it is specified, I'm going to use the responsibility center dot name. And please always make sure you're using the name with capitals and name with lowercase is the variable name in JavaScript. That looks okay. Let's make this one yellow as well. Save as object on server. And I tend to save as object on server when I work on the AE report object because crashing service in the middle of your report design is no fun. Uh, so I've, uh, whatever I do, I always save whatever I'm doing all the time. So let's choose a responsibility center. Let's grab Birmingham. That means the name of our company is Kronos Birmingham. And the address is of course the Birmingham, Birmingham address. And if I do not specify a responsibility center at all, I'm going to get Kronos International Limited, which has an address in London. Let's recap what we just did. We've added a yes, no, or Boolean, and a record variable to our report request page. We have set save request page values property to true, so the Business Central remembers our preferences. We used our Boolean variable to show and hide the address field in our report. And finally, we used the record variable to get data from Business Central, which we showed in the report layout. Thank you very much for listening to me so far. We don't have any questions at this moment. So I will wrap up this coffee break. If you want to know more about Fornaf, or if you want to download the Fornaf Designer and Converter, please visit our website. If you want to install Fornaf in Business Central Cloud, please visit the Microsoft App Source. You can watch more videos about Fornaf on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about Fornaf, please email them to support at fornaf.com. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit fornaf.com slash coffee break. Thank you very much for listening to me today and goodbye.